Honey, I'm a juicer. Gotta keep a focus in my own lane, in my own way. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. We are back. We're back back. Like I know I'll be saying we back, but we're back back. I feel like I'm getting this thing together. I'm getting back consistent with y'all. So hey girl, thanks for picking up my call. I'm super excited for a new week. It is actually Sunday. So this morning, it was a lot going on. We didn't end up making it to church, unfortunately. So we just did a little family prayer, coming together, doing a little word. And that's kind of what happened this morning. But now it is the afternoon. And I'm like, I need to do like all my errands and stuff on the weekend because I feel like during the week, it's just so work, work, work that I don't get to do that. So I'm gonna start doing that now. So we're gonna go run a few errands. I saw that Bath and Body Works is having a $13 candle sale. You know I'm there. You know that we're going candle shopping today. I need new candles. If I feel like the seasons are starting to change a little bit, starting to warm up just a little bit more. I'm tired of all my Christmas candles. I'm tired of even like my fall candles. Like I want light, springy, fresh. I need the vibes in here. Honestly, we're probably gonna be spring cleaning in this vlog as well. It's not even spring, but we just need to clean. I got a toddler pooping in the corner and I don't know what's going on right now. Ezra's right here staring at me. It's really crazy that I have two kids. Like, I don't know what's going on. But now that I have an iPad, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what's on the to-do. And I have a pen. And I set up my iPad, so now I know what I need to do. Hello. Javon did it for me, but it is what it is. On today's to-do list, we're going to go to Bath and Body Works. We're going to make a couple edits to this vlog I have go to the mall don't know if that's gonna happen and then i need to upload some stuff onto youtube for y'all but no for real for real this ipad has really got my life together like i feel like i'm just a productive queen these days and you have to utilize your ipad like you have to find the right things like the google calendar is amazing i love like the little reminders app i love the widgets like adding my email right here honestly i might do like an ipad tour and show you guys how i set up my ipad i have my bible verse here another big thing with my ipad is i only use it for business so i have no social media apps on here or anything like that it is strictly business i've got like my slack i've got like my apps for mavon all that type of stuff so it's just very much Oh, she's a productive girl. But yeah, let's get the kids dressed. We're gonna head out. Y'all, mind you, this was supposed to be a one person affair. I was about to go candle shopping and take my sweet time. Now I got a whole posse with me. It's like somebody hears you're about to go outside and now everybody's about to fuck up. I was just like, Dennis, please. If I'm in this store and I'm trying to sniff my candles, and you trying to break these people candles it's gonna be a problem hopefully she'll do good though because i really do want to just take my time and browse we're gonna do candle shopping we're gonna go through the scents we're gonna do it all but right now we need to get these babies dressed We just got these new dressers for the kids. They're so cute. We actually were able to screw them into the wall, which is a huge thing. I saw this one TikTok that talked about how like furniture safety needs to be talked about more, especially when it comes to kids. Like I remember when I was a kid, I will always have this memory where I was probably like five or six years old and I went to get my mom some pajamas because I wanted to like lay out her pajamas. I was always like a sweet little girl. I was like, let me lay out my mom's pajamas so like when she comes home, she can just get into her pajamas. And I was like small, so I was climbing on her dresser. Like I pulled out the drawers and was climbing on them like stairs. And the whole dresser like came on top of me. Like I don't know how I survived, girl. That just goes to say like screwing furniture into the walls, especially when it comes to, like having kids is super important. Little safety PSA for today. So we screw these into the wall. This is Genesis drawer. This is Ezra's. And it's not huge, it's not bulky. We'll probably obviously have to upgrade them like once they get bigger, but for right now this is what it is so jenna what do you want to wear today girl so when we go out she really just be throwing a little a little two-piece on she is just like her mom on the sweatpants in here yes okay we're gonna do this i think i got this from walmart actually 
And I love that the girls were huge advocates last um vlog, or maybe it was two vlogs ago. They're like, I love that you dress her as a kid. And I'm always do it. All right, we're gonna brush her teeth before we do the whole hair situation. All right, seriously, can somebody help me out? I've heard a lot of different mixed reviews. Some people say to use fluoride free when they like are still swallowing it. Some people say you have to use fluoride. Like what's the tea? We're using fluoride free right now just cause I don't know. We use like a little right size amount of it. And then she actually be brushing her teeth, but I gotta get it for her first. So I just don't know. So if y'all got like toddlers who started brushing their teeth, let me know. Here, you can hold it. Show them. <laughs> that you're brushing your teeth. She's got one more coming in here. So she's gonna have five total very soon. And I'm pretty sure Ezra's already teething, y'all. He's been drooling so, so much. Yeah, you're brushing your teeth, girl. Let's go do your hair. But first, this, y'all, this little butter from Proudly, be having them smelling so good. Has their skin so moisturized. Tall draft. Let's do a Genesis hair tutorial. Step one, a light mist all over the head. I wash her hair like once a week, and we use the Proudly shampoo and conditioner but i'm gonna show you guys what products we've really stuck with this is her leave-in it's from dove it's part of the hair love campaign but it smells really good i used to use this on my boho as well it's like a nice light leave-in because her hair texture is very similar to mine where she can't use heavy products she has very fine hair she has a lot of hair but each strand is very fine and that's how my hair is so after we do that we detangle with a little detangling brush oh. and her hair is like not hard to detangle I'm telling you she has my same exact oh. hair texture especially because we just washed it yesterday she has no product oh. in here but after she takes baths and I because I can only wash her hair in the bath y'all some people they be putting their babies on the sink Genesis would have a fit <laughs> so I have to wash her hair in the bath and then I'll just put some leave-in we're just gonna do a little top knot bun for her gel I use I guess it's called the tame hair gel I got this from Amazon it's nice, it's like a light hold. Remember last vlog when I showed y'all this brand, but it was the gel? I didn't like it, y'all. It was way too water-based, so it just did not hold. It's not a styling gel, it's more of like a curl-defining gel, but even that, I feel like it did not define her curls that much, so. I didn't really like that product. She did use this gel before and it worked well for her, so I just went ahead and ordered another one. So that's what we've been using for her hair. But to really get it to hold, because her hair can get frizzy, I just spray a little bit of this Aussie Instant Freeze and this is what really like will have her hair nice and slick and then it'll stay all day. I'm trying not to make her pony too, too tight. I try to do it like in between. And then we do your edges. For her edges, I just wet this little brush. Just pull out these little front framing edges. And I don't put any product. I just literally lay them down with a little bit of water. A little bit in the back side. And there you have it. Usually I do be putting like a cute little barrette or something in, but I don't know what color would go with what you have on right now. Maybe we'll do clear. This is such a full circle moment, y'all, because I used to put these in my hair. Well, my mom used to put them in my hair. And now I'm putting them in my babies. Cute. And when I say you got about three minutes to do Genesis hair, so you better get it together quick because <laughs> she will start spazzing on you. So we're about to head out, y'all. Probably get some food before we go candle shopping, but we definitely gonna make it to Bath and Body Works today. All right, y'all. We are at IHOP. We were gonna go to one of our favorite little breakfast spots, but I guess they closed at two o'clock and we clearly take a long time to get out the house. So we're at IHOP. Um, I haven't been at IHOP in so long, but these pancakes, oh my gosh. Their pancakes always hit so different. I love a good IHOP pancake. So everything we need to do is really like close by, which is good. So after this, we'll make our little runs and stuff, but a little Sunday breakfast. Ezra is knocked out. I swear, as soon as he like sees we're outside, he's like, okay, yes, it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> like he does not play. Okay, y'all, so we are in Bath and Body. The music's a little bit loud, so I don't know how long I can vlog in here. All the candles are $13.95 right now, and they have so many new collections out. Like I'm looking at this one. This is the Black History Collection. First of all, the packaging is so cute. One thing I do like about Bath and Body is like, the They'll have scents, like the same scent, but different designs. For example, I love Tiki Beach, but I don't like how this candle looks. I put it in my cart just to remember to pick up another one with different packaging. But basically they have like different packaging for different for the same scent. So if you don't like how this looks, usually they'll have like another one that's 
more simple. They'll have like their festive, seasonal packaging and then like their regular schmegular. I haven't tried like some of their hand creams and stuff in so long. I honestly need to buy a new fragrance, but I wanna go to Sephora to get like a perfume because I feel like, ooh, oh my gosh, this smells like my best friend. This smells like Eva, y'all. <laughs> this smells just like Eva. This smells so good. That's so funny. I should get her this. I'm gonna get her this because this smells like her. You guys know my best friend is pregnant, so I'm gonna get her like a little mommy self-care moment. That's gonna be so sweet. I don't know if she wears body mist anymore because she is pregnant. So I don't know if I should get her a body mist or get her lotion and a body shimmer. I'm gonna get her the shimmer. Okay, let's get back to the candles. So we've got Gwen's Note, Sandalwood, and it's cool, caring, and sensual. Thank you. I always budget like $200 for my yearly <laughs> candle hauls whenever they have like candle sales like this. Girl, I'll be going in, but it's for the year. So this is Anne's Garden. Mm -mm. My sweet sister. Nope, nope, nope. You, me, and the sea. Mm. Mm. I feel like there's better ones out there. I don't like this packaging though. I know she's not gonna care, but like. My thing is like, y'all wanna help everybody else, but nobody offered me help. I don't need that help, but y'all should have offered it. So far, there's seasonal ones. I don't know, I feel like I haven't found like one that's wooed me besides Tiki Beach. I feel like they're just all very basic, like coconut. Like that Black History Month collection, I think it was the Gwen one. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna get two of that. This is kind of nice. Warm ocean breeze. When I do my scents, I do it like per room. So like downstairs usually has a vibe. Our office has a vibe. Upstairs has a vibe. So I'm trying to coordinate. Oh, this one is really cute. Also, I'm thinking for Eva, I really want to get her something more light. I don't know, I feel like the candle I picked out for her is just a little too potent. And I know when I was pregnant, me and candles did not go together. Unless it was like a light, nice, cute situation. So like rose water and ivy is nice. I just don't like that it's, it's super light. Oh, it is so nice. I should get it because it's pink. I'm gonna get her this one, I'm gonna get her this one. bag is secured we're gonna do a huge haul when i get home but i'm gonna run to old navy to pick up something for my goddaughter and then i'll head home to do this haul all right girl so i just stopped by eva's and we had a little chat little kiki she's renovating her house so i was just looking at some of the updates and it looks so good i'm so proud of her and she's so pregnant now y'all and it's just so crazy like oh my gosh my goddaughter is coming she's on the way but we're at aldi we're gonna stop and get some stuff for the week usually on sundays i'll just do like a quick little re-up on some stuff like produce drinks stuff that we run out of quickly then bi-weekly i do like the big grocery haul today's a just like quick pick up re-up situation and i'm with ezra and i never grocery shop with ezra because i have to ring his doona in there's no way you can push a doona and a cart so i have to put the doona in the cart but then there's no room for groceries <sighs> this whole no lash look is really sending me <laughs> i don't know i feel like when you start wearing lashes for so long even if like you look okay to other people you look crazy to yourself because it's just like why do i look so bald we're gonna do our lashes i already ordered a new lash book because it's it's a lot we're just gonna run in here grab some groceries real quick and head home so i can just breathe i feel like i need to really get better at having a complete rest day because this is considered a rest day for me but i'm still like up and out and about but then it's like when the week starts i have to work so i don't know i just really need to start finding the balance between that i think my weekdays feel so short because i work out so late y'all i work out at 10 30 a.m so either i need to start waking up early at like 6 30 so i can get into my word spend time with jenna like make breakfast be up up and then go work out or i need to work out earlier but i feel like 
working out earlier is not going to solve my problem because I feel like I have no morning routine before working out. Usually I literally wake up and just go work out. So this week we're going to focus on getting into more of an actual morning routine, waking up earlier. Also, each weekly vlog I want to pick one wellness girl habit that I'm going to start picking up. And this week is juicing. So we're also going to grab a lot of produce like fruits and veggies so we can juice. I ordered a juicer. It came in. I ordered some really cute little shots bottles some little juice bottles so we're about to be juicing juicing juicy and then my best friend killed my dream she was just like girl yes i love that you're juicing but you know fruit has a lot of sugar in it and it's just like i can never win in life it's like i can never win in life. i want to juice fruit has too much sugar in it now i'm pescatarian now there's a problem with fish now i'm trying to eat a little dairy now dairy bloats you it's just like I can't win. But it's okay. We're going to go in, grab some groceries. I'm going to show you some of my Aldi's faves in here. And hopefully we can get home soon so I can have a little bit of time to reset. It's Sunday, so 90 Day Fiance comes on. I will be giving my review. Okay, so I want to get better at making breakfast for like the family. I feel like I make Genesis breakfast, but then I don't be making me and Javon breakfast. So I'm going to get some brioche. I feel like this would be really good for French toast. So we're going to wrap this. This is the blue. Yes, these are so good. And it's only made with organic blue, blue corn flour, organic vegetable oil, organic sunflower, and organic canola and sea salt. So pretty clean ingredients and it tastes so good. Okay, so this is my favorite bread for avocado toast. It is just sourdough bread, but toast this, put some avocado on it with some sea salt, some pepper, some red pepper flakes, and some everything bagel seasoning. It's the best avocado toast. So this is one of my favorites. Hey girl, hey. So I just got home. I feel like it's been such a long day. I was just out all day. But I did pick up some stuff from Aldi and I wanna show you some of my faves. I only spent $138 and I feel like I got so much more stuff, especially cause we're not doing like the traditional beef, protein, chicken, all that type of stuff. I feel like our grocery bill is way less because that stuff is expensive. But I found some really interesting items. We're gonna be trying these out this week. So this brand, Season's Choice, if you get something from all these, get stuff from this brand because it's just like, I feel like it's higher quality type of vibe. So I got some eggplant cutlets, some crispy stuffed shrimp. This is like a little creamy wonton and it comes with like, probably like a sweet and sour sauce, I'm assuming. A little shrimp and crab ravioli and I'm telling you, this brand, they just be doing something. I think I'm gonna make this tonight. It's just some um, black tiger shrimp. So tiger shrimp is just bigger. All these crab cakes. Well, a little bit of white rice, some sriracha. So my favorite combo ever, their classic guac with the chips. Their guac is so good, y'all. And then we're gonna make some flatbreads this week for lunch. I'm trying to... It's like, did I open this or did this come open? That's very suspicious. We're gonna make flatbreads this week. Another season's choice, their oranges. These are the... I can't see because it's got this thing on it, but I know these oranges are bomb. Genesis loves this yogurt. They're like these mood tubes. They come in strawberry, blueberry. Just a little snack for her. Whole bunch of produce. Another one of Jenna's faves for breakfast. Turkey sausage and spinach. Egg bites. I did want to try to make these Starbucks red pepper, red roasted. Girl, you know what I'm talking about. The roasted red pepper egg bites. I want to try to make those at home. I literally ordered a whole um, like cupcake pan thing off of Amazon because I was going to make them. But I never had the roasted red pepper so I couldn't make them. And then the only protein, like actual meat we got was salmon so we're gonna do a little salmon dish this week but yeah just a quick little re-up on some things this is gonna be so good for lunch i can't wait to let's get into the bath and body works haul so i ended up getting 10 candles it totaled to 142 but then there was a 20 percent off coupon on the app so i used that and it ended up being 115.75 for 10 candles this is what i'm saying stack up once a year do not continue oh let me buy one here one here just do a bulk oh i didn't even know i still got this i gave eva a different one okay so this is actually one of my faves from the whole haul it's called gwen's note it's part of the black history collection it smells so good like 
sandalwoody, but like a clean sandalwood. Sandalwood usually has like a little bit of a musk to it, but this is just so clean. I bought two of these because I was like, it's limited edition. I have to get two. Then we've got a staple, a classic peach bellini. So we're switching up the vibe of the house. That's why I was like, we should probably do a spring cleaning situation this week because I want it to be fresh. I want it to be clean. I want it to be like fruity, like I'm tired. Oh, Jenna, that's cute, girl. You wanna show everybody? That's cute, girl. You wanna smell my candle? This is peach bellini. It smells so good. Yeah, girl. Mommy got them candles. My best friend be making fun of me because she's like, you're really one of those girls who like has a whole collection of Bath and & Body. And I'm like, you have to. When the sales come, they come. Okay, next up, honestly, I really love the packaging of this. I think it's gonna look cute on our shelf. But I also love the smell. You know, it's a little lemony situation. I got another lemon Mom. candle. What? You're not gonna eat all the fruit, all the yogurt, all the sugar, and you didn't wanna eat none of your dinner? Yeah. No. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, girl. I should've got two of these. This is iced lemon pound cake. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is probably my second fave. Okay, next up is laundry day. I thought this would be nice and fresh for upstairs. I don't know why, but the nursery with all them little diapers in it, it'd be a little questionable sometimes. So I wanna get something fresh up there. So we're gonna do laundry day. I won't put this in their room because I know Bath and Body Works candles aren't the best. So I'm not gonna put it in their nursery, but I'm gonna put it in like the family room next to it. And this candle's strong where I know it'll kind of smell up the whole upstairs. Fresh, clean laundry, love it. Okay, last up. I know I said that Bath and Body Works usually be having like different packaging for the same scent, but all they had was this little Hawaiian bliss situation for Tiki Beach. And it's like, I love Tiki Beach enough to subject myself to this packaging, but you're definitely going into my office because what is this? Like, this is not even cute. I might be able to make it work with the shelf over here because there's a little bit more color, but blue is just random. But it smells really good though. Tiki Beach is bomb. All right, girl, I'm about to cook dinner. I'm gonna have a little appetizer of some chips and guac. Tomorrow we are right back at it. Regular scheduled programming. We've got a workout. We've got lots of meetings tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to just rest and reset. Like I said, we're gonna try to wake up earlier so we can like get into our word earlier. Just have more of a morning routine opposed to just getting up and getting at it. So I'll talk to y'all in the morning. I love you, girl. Good night. And she was talking about how 
The reason we don't spend time with God has nothing to do with time, but everything to do with our heart. Like, it's a heart issue that we don't spend time with God. So I can sit here and say, oh, I have a newborn. Like, that's justification for me not waking up and spending time with God. But it's like, no, that's a heart thing. My heart is set on other things and not the Lord. And that's just not okay. So I really had to do a heart posture readjustment and ask God, like, God, give me the desire to serve you. Sometimes we think those prayers are, like, bad prayers because we're being truthful. But God craves our honesty. Like, us saying, God, listen, I'm struggling with serving you god i'm struggling with wanting to spend time with you give me that desire to do so and me saying that prayer now i'm amped like i I have this different fire to wake up and to serve god like he puts that fire within you but you have to ask for him to do that my word was so good today i was reading about the israelites getting brought into the promised land and how they were so ready to revert so ready to go back to who they used to be to go back to being slaves because it was comfortable i don't know why it hit me so deep it's like our flesh really makes us forget sometimes like our flesh will make us forget that going back also had pain attached to it also had suffering attached to it but because it's comfortable it's something that we want to do but what the israelites didn't see is them going back means they would miss out on the promise i don't know who needs to go don't go back girl i don't know who needs to hear it don't go back girl i don't know if it's a relationship child i don't know if it's a way of life i don't know if it's a habit do not go back your flesh does what's comfortable your spirit does what's hard the flesh does not bring forth good fruit but the spirit does so anything that's easy is not going to harvest anything but anything that's hard is going to have a good harvest so my word for you is don't go back girl there is beauty in suffering seriously suffering brings forth something out of you that comfort could never do it might get ready with me i was talking about how sometimes i do like desire i was talking about my body like my old body and all i saw looking back was the body but I never saw all the other things attached to that version of Maya like yes that version of Maya's body was slay but I was also struggling with things mentally and spiritually that I'm no longer struggling with in this present moment so it's like sometimes we look back and we only see the positive but we don't see the burden that was attached to that moment so girl when you look back I'm telling you your perspective is skewed So do not meditate on the former days. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And he's trying to do a new thing in you. God doesn't do old things. He does new things. So he's trying to bring forth a new thing in you. And you need to have a new mindset to do that. So instead of meditating on the former things, meditate on the goodness of God in this present moment and what he's going to be doing for you in the future. Can I get an amen? I just pulled up to my workout. We are about to get this workout in. I am super, super, super excited. I haven't worked out since Friday. It's Monday morning. I love a good Monday workout. So you know what to do. Put those shoes on. Hop on that little elliptical. Hop on the Stairmaster. It's time to get into it. Y'all, it's a little bit later in the day. What's this vlog about? The week. You're scaling good. Thank you. I'm a beer. Compliment me too. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) No, your skin looks a bomb. Can we get into the bone structure coming back? But y'all, it's later in the day. When I say all I did today was get on meetings after meetings after meetings after meetings after meetings. We had some calls with some of our new talents and we were just getting everybody acclimated had some calls with the team and everything so it was definitely a lot but it is now later in the day and we're hosting tonight we're hosting a little dinner for a couple of our church friend well a church friend couple 
that makes sense. Um, they're coming over. Javon's actually making lobster tail. Girl, I know that's right. Lobster tail. He's making lobster tail, garlic mashed potatoes, and broccoli. That's such an Atlanta meal. If you know, you know. If you go to any restaurant, they're going to have some lobster tail and some garlic mash. Like, it's just what they do in Atlanta here. Um, I'm just going to relay my edges a little bit. I touched up my makeup. And I'm just going to... It is what it is with the hair. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to try those, like, bob bohos if y'all ever seen them because they look real real cute and i feel like me like i love having my hair in braids but also i feel like my braids be so long where it's just like girl this is too much i need to find a happy medium but yeah today was super duper productive i feel good about getting everything done i'm having a video posted for y'all tomorrow we're back on the two to three posts a week girl watch out your girl is back like i never left and yeah, I put Genesis down a little bit early today. It's 8.30. She's already asleep. Ezra's bathed. I feel like I did the thing. I don't know what's going on with my teeth. My teeth hurt. I'm trying to think what did I do. Did I use a whitener? Maybe I switched my toothpaste. I don't know what that's about. But I think having like wise counsel, having older, wiser, more mature couples in your circle is definitely a must when you're married. Um, having people who have been married for 10 years 20 years and just being able to confide in them is super important on this walk because it's a lifelong journey it's a lifelong walk and just gaining other people's perspectives and how they've navigated cer certain situations is super helpful within marriage let's do a little tummy on the scent today so i don't like how that just sprayed out so just something to give the girl something i'm definitely more into like very light daintier fresh fragrances as of recently um i got this black opium and pr from ysl and it looks so cute and it would smell good to a normal person but it is just too heavy for me like any heavy musky super just deep scent i cannot get with but like something like this where it's just light kind of airy a little bit of like a beachier almost vibe i can do that i can do that all day all right, I'm literally just wearing a black jumpsuit. Like, it is nothing crazy. Just a little cute, flowy black jumpsuit. All right, y'all, let's host. Good morning, girl. It is the next day. I'm about to do my skincare because I just took a shower. But let's get into last night. So last night we hosted, actually no, I'm gonna use Niacinamide first. So I used to use this Polish Choice Liquid Exfoliant. I'm taking a break because my skin was like raw. It was so red, it was so irritated because I was using it twice a day and you should never be exfoliating twice a day so i was definitely tripping with that but um now i switched to this niacinamide it basically like adds that glow very much glow to your skin and that's what i need in my life um it's just from this brand i got some pr i wouldn't like vouch for this brand i mean it's just niacinamide i honestly want to try out the polish choice one because i love polish choice so maybe we'll go pick that up today but yeah, we hosted a couple yesterday and it was so nice. I didn't really record much because obviously like we were talking, we were chatting and we were just like, you know, very much present in the moment. But it just felt so good to just be surrounded by a Christ-like marriage. Um, I love that couple. They're so amazing. I need to get my fan. Genesis broke my fan, y'all. So now I need to get a new one but it just felt so good to be surrounded by that energy we had great conversation and it was overall a really really good dinner javon ended up making lobster mashed potatoes and asparagus and it was so good like he really did his big win this is the paula's choice instant glow i also use the youth extending one they both have sps in it spf in it and they're both really good moisturizers but yeah, so today what the agenda looks like, I have a video to film. Your girl's back, 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 back on her Zoom. I've been telling y'all this, but it's actually coming to pass. I've just been ramping up my content for y'all, getting this content out. I'm trying to do two to three posts a week again, so expect a video 
Sunday, Tuesday, and sometimes Thursday. Can't always promise a Thursday, but sometimes. I'm gonna skip out on my SPF because that moisturizer has it in it. Then I use a rose water toner because it's very nice and gentle on my skin. I forgot the vitamin C. Usually I would do vitamin C then my rose water, um, but I'll just put some vitamin C on tonight. I haven't put this on in about a week just because I feel like this combo was doing my skin a little bit dirty. It was too harsh. But I forgot to show y'all, when I went to Bath and Body Works, y'all, they just came out with some lip scrubs. And I'm a lip scrub connoisseur. I like a scrub. I don't want something that's cute, barely exfoliating. I want something that's gonna scrub my lips off. And I tried this on in store, and oh my gosh, it actually works. Like, it actually works. They actually came out with some like lip masks too, trying to be like, you know, Tatcha and Laneige and all them. But girl, it's a good old scrub. And then as far as lips go, this has been my fave, y'all. This little Tatcha Japanese peach lip jelly. It's just like a jelly, like an actual little jelly. And it moisturizes your lips so good. Like, adds a little shine. I have a little bit of office work to do. And then if we have time, we're gonna go out to do our fragrance shopping together. We definitely want to get a new perfume, but I also have a partnership with Dossier coming up. And I love Dossier, damn. If y'all see in my closet, I have like a whole shelf designated to Dossier scents because it's like, why pay triple the price for like these name brand, you know, YSL, Gucci, all that situation when you can literally go on Dossier and get the same exact fragrance. And I feel like sometimes Dossier makes it smell better. I have one, um, it's a dupe for Good Girl and I prefer the Dossier version over the Good Girl version. I'm just putting y'all on to the tea. I'm literally just putting y'all on to the tea. Let me do my edges real quick. Quick praise report for y'all. So everything with Maybon has been going absolutely amazing. I just love how God, he always does heart checks, y'all. He knows what you're capable of handling, but he also wants to test you. So there was a situation that came up where God just like checked my heart on something and I was obedient to what God was asking me to do. And like the fruit of obedience was so evident. And I don't know if he needs to hear that, but whatever God's asking you to do is for your good. Sometimes God tells us to do certain things and it's very hard to hear because it's not our will. But if God's telling you to do it, it's for a reason. And you have to trust him, y'all. You have to trust him. Because I'm telling you, I was like, God, I know you ain't just saying that. But he was like, no, be obedient. And I was obedient. And then literally the next morning I was like, oh, the fruit of obedience thank you god and it's just so crazy like god is just so good and he's such like a master craftsman like he knows everybody's needs that's when we talk about the kingdom of god a lot of people confuse like religion and kingdom kingdom is a lifestyle like i live in the kingdom of god i'm not just a christian i live in the kingdom of god i am a citizen of the kingdom of god so therefore like my lifestyle revolves around that like having a relationship with god is not something i do on the side it is my lifestyle so i think i've just been embracing that more and just being obedient to what god says to me and when he speaks to me discerning his voice and the only way to discern god's voice is to spend time with him you're not gonna know if he's talking to you if you haven't spent time with him and you don't have that discernment and then of course asking the lord like lord give me discernment when you speak let me know it's you you may not hear his voice but it may be confirmed in people and places and things like you just have to ask god and i promise you y'all he hears the cries of his people it's in his word over and over and over again like he hears our cries and he wants to help us but he can only help who asks okay so i'm going to go ahead and finish up my hair, do my makeup so I can film for y'all. All right, girl, I'll talk to you later. Hey, girl, hey. So it's a little bit later in the day. Me and Genesis just got to Costco. I just picked her up from school. We're gonna go grab some diapers. I think it was like three vlogs ago where I got diapers. So y'all can see how long that lasts. And on top of that, Genesis and Ezra are in the same diaper size. I don't know if I told y'all, but we went to a two-month checkup for Genesis for Ezra. It was technically like a three-month checkup because he was just about three months at the time. This man is 14 and a half pounds. Genesis, who is 19 months, is 19 pounds. And I don't know if Genesis is over underweight because she don't be eating, but 
Ezra is 14 and a half pounds. He fits a size four diaper from Costco. That's insane. So they've been in the same diaper size, which is convenient because I just pick up a box of Costco diapers and it lasts us like a month. Now I've been munching on these girl. And it's so obnoxious that I would bring the whole family size box outside. No, Jenna's a man now. So she won't want to party. Down. Sometimes Costco's little um, pre-made meals be hitting. So I'm about to go see if they have anything good. I don't like Costco's mac and cheese. Unpopular opinion, but it's way too cheesy and not enough macaroni. One thing that is bomb from Costco is, let me show you, I'm pulling up on it. This crab salmon and this pesto salmon. I'm about to get the pesto one because it is so good, y'all. I need me some big pieces. My mother-in-law put me on and it is just such a quick and easy dinner. Good morning, girl. It is a new day. I am feeling so good. We're getting ready to go to the gym. I actually have to leave out the house in about 20 minutes. Usually my routine is I'll take Genesis to school and then I'll go to the gym and then I'll come back home and get right into work. But yeah, I have been waking up earlier and it has been very helpful, especially with getting that quiet time with God. I had a conversation with Javon and I was like, listen, the first 30 minutes of the day, please just keep Genesis upstairs for me because I really just need to get into my word. And he was like, of course. So it's been super helpful having that, just soaking time with God, getting into my word, getting into my prayer, getting into my worship. And then of course, incorporating God throughout the day. But I was just sitting here thinking about like my fitness journey because your girl has, what? It's almost been two months of me working out, y'all. That's crazy. I started working out January 6th and we're about to head into March. So it's just like, your girl has been doing what she said she was gonna do. So from the day I walked into the hospital to now, I've lost 30 pounds, y'all. That's crazy. I've lost 30 pounds and I still have a very long way to go. I probably won't lose another 30, <laughs> but I feel like after I lose this other 30, like your girl's really gonna be giving a girl. Yeah, I see it all in my face and like my neck. I have this on, so it's kind of big, but like, cause I know what the scale's gonna say depending on this. And I feel like I've definitely slimmed out. So I'm super proud of myself. Like it's a lifelong journey. It's not just restricted to, oh, when I lose this 30 pounds, I'm gonna stop working out, no. That's why you see people on these crazy diets or these crazy workouts, and then they gain all the weight back. Like it truly is like, a long journey, but I'm in it for the long run and I'm excited and working out makes me feel so, so good. I've been working out with my best friend as of recently and as you guys know, she's pregnant. So just to see her in that space because I just know how it feels. Like I've gone through it. I know how it feels when you have this baby inside of you and it's like, you wanna move your body, you wanna work out, but it feels like it's pointless. But at the end of the day, working out is not always about losing pounds. It's really for your mental health as well. Because I remember when I didn't work out when I was pregnant with Ezra, it showed up here. But I did work out when I was pregnant with Genesis and I feel like my pregnancy mentally was better. I would say postpartum was a little bit more difficult with Genesis opposed to Ezra, but it just depends on who you are, your hormones, all that type of stuff. But I will recommend working out for anybody. Pregnant or not, of course, get cleared by your doctor, but you can work out when you're pregnant. I don't know why they try to lie to us and tell us that it's okay to eat any and everything under the sun, but it's not okay to work out. That's a lie. That's a lie, because I'm paying for it now. I'm a victim, y'all. Don't be like me. I feel better, y'all. Not even just like, obviously mentally, but I feel more like mobile in my body. I remember waking up feeling so heavy, like literally heavy, like my knees hurt. And I've never experienced that in my life. So it's just like, we also have to realize that gaining a certain amount of weight also comes with underlying health conditions. Like it comes with health conditions attached to that. So I understand the whole movement of be who you are, be who you are, be who you are. But there's also certain things that when you get to a certain point in your life, like there's health conditions that come with that. And I don't want that for any of my girls. So working out is not just about losing weight, but it's about a overall health journey. Like you wanna have good heart health. You wanna have good overall health within your joints. You want to be able to bend down by the time you're 70 years old and pick up that bag of groceries. Like all of that comes with moving your 
body in whatever way you can move your body. If that's a walk, if that's going on a little run, if that's doing a little Pilates, if that's doing some yoga and stretching, if that's doing some weightlifting, whatever that is for you, I encourage you to move your body every single day. You don't gotta do no extravagant workout every single day, but find a way to move your body. I'm about to eat these eggs, these little boiled eggs. You know I've been on this little boiled egg kick. Today we're juicing. After the workout, we're gonna go to Publix. We're gonna get some fruits and veggies and we're gonna use this juicer that's been sitting in this Amazon box for the past week because I've been waiting to unbox it with y'all. But today we're gonna be juicing. So I'll see y'all after the workout. All right, girl, <laughs> I haven't talked to you since my workout, but the workout was bomb. I feel like that sweat, girl, I love to sweat. Like I used to not sweat when I worked out and I just sound so like pick me, but I really used to not sweat. Now, ooh, I be coming out of the workouts dripping and it feels so good. Like I'm just like, girl, it feels like you just lost about five pounds sweating all this stuff out. Anyways, <laughs> we are out and about, girl. We've been talking about juicing. We've been talking about juicing for way too long to not actually juice on the vlog. So we need to figure out a recipe. I've been saving some from TikTok. Like the oh, 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 no bloat juice. Like, yes, I need the no bloat juice, please. <laughs> I want like a green juice. Like I want something cute, something effective. <laughs> like, please make it effective. Please don't have me waste all this money to still make me bloat. We're at Whole Foods though because we're gonna get some fresh fruit. Like I don't want it to be oh like it was the wrong fruit, wasn't the freshest of the fresh. We ha Whole Foods, okay? It better be the freshest of the fresh. Okay, this is what I like: spinach, which I have. Let's do celery, cucumbers, pineapples, half oranges. Let's grab some lemon. Let's grab some ginger. It's gonna be a real cute green goddess. Green goddess. <laughs> Y'all, please, like, I just play too much. Like, you're just my girl. Like, we can just kiki. Like, life is too serious. We are going to be doing a Love is Blind recap tonight because the next set of episodes comes out tonight. And me and my husband, we love to watch Love is Blind and just commentate on everybody. And, like, we know them, but we don't know them. But it's fun. It's all fun and games here. Let's go into Whole Foods and um, be healthy, you know? Like, as a, 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 a healthy citizen here, it's my obligation. <laughs> oh my gosh i cannot one thing i can do is drink my half day i showed you this in my get ready to me but i really do love them they're so good Hey girl, 
you already know the vibe here good morning i was just reading my word i have really been struggling with reading my word um it's easy for me to pray it's easy for me to worship like those things come very natural to me but transparently like sitting down and reading my bible um it felt like a chore i think it was even easier to pick up a devotional but when it came to like the word of god the bible there was like this warfare for me and i finally sat down you guys know i just got my ipad so i was like let me go on the bible app and just re start reading john and start taking notes and start highlighting and as i was doing this like it was like with every word with every verse with every passage there was like breath being br breathed on my dry bones there's something to say about how the word of god is literal breath to our dry bones i don't know if you've been struggling with reading your word and retaining the information but there is nothing like the word of god as i started reading the scriptures and reading the passages i just started to see more of jesus and furthermore started to see what jesus did for me like the sacrifices he made for me and it literally made my soul rejoice because i was just like i am so undeserving of this love of this good news and i think unless you read it and see it for your own eyes you will never understand the fullness of it i don't think we'll ever fully comprehend god's love but when you're reading his scriptures, it like just blows my mind how much he loves us, how much he loves you, how much he loves me. I was reading in John and I don't know why, but this verse just like, it stuck with me and it kind of hit me. And it was um, John 1 29 and it says the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, behold, the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Like y'all, this world is scary. And there's so much bad stuff that happens, but to know like Jesus still reigns. He still has the last word. He defeated death, like the good news of the gospel. I don't know why, but like the good news is just, I'm just coming into remembrance like of the good news that I have quite literally been saved saved from death i've been saved from sin i've been saved from this burden because of jesus he paid the price for you he paid the price for me and i still struggle with certain things and i'll never be perfect but i am a lot more like jesus now than i was back then and that goes to show he will transform you from the inside out so if you've been questioning, should I take that step? Should I take that leap of faith? Should I give my life to Christ? There is nothing in this world that compares to the love of Jesus. There's nothing. And you know I'm a crybaby for God, but just to sit at his throne and to just be completely undone is the best thing in the world to know i have like a hiding place and a refuge when this world gets crazy when life gets crazy knowing i can just abide in his presence and be made new that is good news y'all i'm gonna get cleaned up i'm gonna refresh and we're gonna start juicing today today's the day we're gonna start our juicing journey <laughs> i've been talking about juice 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 this whole vlog have yet to juice I got this off of Amazon, of course, and it better be worth the $120. Here's what these look like. Oh, these are actually cute. So these are my juicing jars, y'all. Is this not? Like, oh, what kind of juice do you want? Mango, strawberry? Okay, let me go ahead and whip that up for you. That's going to be $11.27. <laughs> now this. Is what I'm excited for because I really want to make immunity shots like even if I don't 
make big bottles of juice every week. If I can at least make little immunity shots, it's a win. Like, are these not so cute? With a little turmeric, ginger. And then it's like, oh, if I really want to be a juicing, juicing girl. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Like, I'm really out here doing a thing. To mist juicer. Let me cut this real good. Because if it don't work, it will be going back. Okay, so it comes with a spoon. We'll see what that's for. This is probably to help clean the nooks and crannies. Let me just browse through this real quick because I probably should. So step one. Ooh, girl, I'm already. Ooh. So, oh my gosh, girl. This is already too much. Okay. So here we go. Also, let me give my review on Love is Blind while we do this whole situation because I have quite a bit to say. I have quite a bit to say. I got through all the episodes. By the time y'all see this, it's gonna be Tuesday, so the new set of episodes wouldn't have come out yet, which is perfect. Um, Who's vetting these people? Seriously, like Nick and whatever your name is, Lachey, Nick and what's the girl name? Y'all need to do better because I feel like after the first season, Love is Blind just went downhill. Love is clearly not blind because all of these marriages be failing. When I say I had so much hope in Kenneth and Brit, is her name Brittany? Let me pull up names. Brittany and Kenneth. I was so convinced they were gonna be like the couple that worked. They were gonna be headed to church together. He was very much on the worship team. Like she was gonna be giving the girls pastor's wife. After the conversation Kenneth had with AD, this man switched all the way up. It's like, I don't know if you just now figuring out that this is a white woman you're marrying, but it was like ever since AD was like, oh, like, do you think she can raise black kids? Which is like, of course, that's a great question to ask. But now you're all of a sudden acting like you're figuring out that this woman is white. You knew she was white in the pods and you still loved her. And I just feel like ever since he got, when he got his phone back, when he got his phone back, it was so over. One thing I hate is when you're talking to somebody and they're literally on their phone. Like, please don't play with me right now. Please don't play with me right now. And he was just so disconnected from the moment that they got into like the apartment. It was crazy. And I felt so bad for Brittany because she seems like a really nice girl who's very much deserving of love. And I feel like, Kenneth, if you knew that you couldn't handle being with a white woman, like, why did you lead her on? Why did you act like, oh, every night before we go to bed, let's lay up and talk about the day. If you knew that you couldn't handle being with a white woman or that it just wasn't your vibe. Like that's okay, some people have preferences, but you literally led this woman off. Okay, let's get into AD and Clay. First of all, let's backtrack and get into Matthew. Matthew, it's giving Dexter. It's giving sociopath 100%. This man convinced me, and I am very hard to convince. Like he convinced me, he was like, this was gonna be the anomaly, like, you know, it was gonna be the weird little white guy with like this beautiful black woman. And like, I was like, okay, this is gonna be great. Like, he's gonna be so nice to her, so good to her. Like, cause you know, some white men, like they love their black women, damn. And I thought it was gonna be that situation. This man switched up so quick. And the whole like, America's watching thing was super weird to me. Like, I did not understand that. And then he went to go get Amber. Like he went to go get the girl he really wanted. He played AD so crazy. But after that, AD switches up. Okay, she's gonna go with Clay. The whole situation when Eddie was talking to Jimmy and she was like shaking her little booty and stuff like that, it was just like, <sighs> this may be an unpopular opinion. Yes, I know Clay is like a player boy. I get that. But I feel like in this dynamic, like I think he was going to put his best foot forward and try to like turn a new leaf. And I feel like AD would have been the one to do him dirty. It was giving Jezebel, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I don't know any of these people, y'all, this is all fun and games, but her like energy and spirit, she was just stirring up conflict with everybody. Stirred up conflict with Brittany and Kenneth, stirred up conflict with Jimmy and, what's the other girl's name? Chelsea. With Chelsea, I'm giving them my love is blind take, Javon. I don't know why all the girls was fighting over Jimmy. 
Maybe that's just not my cup of tea, but I, I do not get it. I do not get it. Chelsea, you know, I feel like I feel like she definitely needs to like work through some things, especially with her being married once, like hopping back into another marriage thinking like it's going to fix the issues and everything that you experienced before. She for sure just needs to take a moment to just, you know, do some self-reflection because she has a lot of insecurities that are showing up, um, especially whenever she's jimmy's <laughs> i'm trying to like be very much nice when i'm saying this because again i do not know these people but yeah i don't see that relationship working out because yeah it's just gonna give jealousy it's going to give just lots of problems and issues i feel like if chelsea was to pick the other dude with the mullet it would have worked out more because chelsea needs a lot of like reassurance and love and like almost to be smothered where i don't see jimmy doing that on a day-to-day -day basis even like him not kissing her five times a day that one time and she got all mad and then jimmy's like you're being a little bit clingy and then she was very mad about that i feel like she should have picked the other dude because the other dude was like very much head over heels in love with her where jimmy was kind of like teetering the fence between her and somebody else so that's my take on that. Chelsea, love you, girl, but we definitely got to get into the therapy bag and all that. The one couple with the white boy and the Hispanic girl, I ain't about to lie. Ain't nothing interesting going on with that. Wish y'all the best, but it's nothing to get into on that. Laura. Laura and the dude. Y'all know the dude. What's his name? I need to find his name for real, for real. Jeremy. Laura and Jeremy. Laura, you set that man up. You set that man up good. Jeremy, what do you mean you didn't leave the parking lot? What do you mean you didn't leave the parking lot, but you were at Sarah Ann's side of town? What do you mean, Jeremy? And then the fact that he had no lie, no rebuttal, he was just like, yes, yes. I don't wanna talk about that right now. You don't wanna talk about it right now because you can't think of a lie. That was so crazy. And what's even crazier is I saw them working out. I saw Jeremy and Laura like being this cute little poster right couple. Like, what? He did her so crazy. And then I just saw on TikTok where Jeremy was literally engaged while he was applying for the show, selling his house with his ex fiance. Then they broke up and then he went on the show. Jeremy, you, you, you played us. You played us. You played Laura. And I feel like Laura was a really sweet girl. I feel like she was going to be a good wife. And you did her so crazy. Y'all had good chemistry. Like, why are you messing a good thing up? Because you want to go be up there kiki and with Sarah Ann. And I don't like home records either. Okay, so we can get into, um, what's the other girl name? With the kid. Oh, yeah. Jessica. 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 Because I'm about to do you too, Jessica. Jessica, he made his choice. He picked Chelsea. You don't need to come assert yourself just because obviously, you know, you're pretty. You don't need to come and assert yourself like, oh, look, who you know, should have picked me because I'm this, that, and that. You're still a homewrecker. <laughs> you're still, a, I don't understand the whole concept of like pursuing a married or to be married man. Like that's not cute to me at all. So I don't know, Jessica, baby, you're pretty, you're cute, but the personality and the inside is giving, again, very much Jezebel home wrecker i don't know yeah ezra that's what i'm saying dude like seriously these people are super crazy they need lots of help but i am excited for the next set of episodes to come out i was also on tiktok and this one girl should be doing mad research on love is blind she found the contracts for everybody and part of our contract is if you get engaged like you have to meet each other at the altar or you pay a fifty dollar fifty thousand dollar fine but when they were showing the previews, I did not see Kenneth and Brittany at the altar. I didn't even see AD and Clay at the altar. And I definitely didn't see Laura or Jeremy at the altar. So it's like two out of the five weren't even at the altar. That's crazy. Girl, I don't know about this juicer. I don't know all that stuff from Whole Foods. No, we have to make the juice. We have to. Let me feed him and then we're going to get into oh, it. Oh, okay, girl. I washed these parts. Um, cut some fruit up. I just don't know about... The lime. It says you're supposed to peel it, but how do you peel a lime? This is a moment of like, we're gonna grow through this. You know, this is not a professional tutorial at all. Follow at your own risk. Rev. What? See, stuff like this would get me frustrated. Y'all, like I really gave this my best shot. It's not even turning on. 
I need to breathe through this. <laughs> Let's read it again. Before operating, lock the hopper in correct position. Cover the feeding cover. What does that mean? What's the feeding cover? Before starting adjusting. Javon, can you help me for a sec? Everybody loves a comeback story, you know? I'm the underdog, they don't expect me to figure this out, but I'm gonna figure it out. <sighs> open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. I wish one of y'all who knew how to juice could literally just reach through the screen and show me because it's it's clearly not going to work. But I have this cut fruit here, so it's like I would completely be devastated if I could not figure this out. Oh, this is like one of the worst things I've ever experienced in my life. This is not fun. Oh, just pop lock something in place, girl. People work now. Oh! <laughs> okay. I I'm a juicer actually. <laughs> this thing was literally about to send me into a spiral. Hold on. What is going on right now? Y'all see this? Yeah, actually, yeah, actually, I'm a juicer. Yeah, because I was about to give up and throw this <laughs> Y'all doubted me, but don't ever doubt an underdog. Y'all ready for this? Hold on. Thank you. Ooh! We got apples. I'll we got apples. Juice. We got apples. I'll do. Three days. Open up the shoe. Boom. We just gonna throw these all in there. Like, why not? That's on juicing. Oh, it's up in its stuff for sure. More nutrients. Let's just throw them. Y'all ready? Oh, juice. Oh, juice. Oh, Jill. <laughs> See, nobody got time to be peeling limes and stuff. You guys doing a bit much. So this is the no bloat, the no bloat goat from Maya. Thank you. Thank you. So we're just gonna add some pineapple in here. Let's go ahead, y'all ready for the release? Release. Thank you. I think that's as much juice as we're gonna get today. So I'm gonna pour one for me, one for Javon. Well, I gotta pour this all the way up because what? It fits perfectly. You ready? It look good. Oh, spicy, you put cayenne in there or something? I put mad ginger. Oh, no. Okay, but it was my first try. So we're not gonna put as much so, ginger next go around. Well. Let's go ahead and revamp, switch gears here and make another juice <laughs> with less ginger because that is a little spicy up. Honestly, I might transfer that into some immunity shot. Like that's an immunity you shot. It, It'll take you out. It's one of those like cleanses. It's not something you can sip on all day. So we're gonna try to revamp that. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some more. We're gonna do some pineapple, cucumbers, Okay, here we go. Keep it going, we prevail. Yes, juice. This one's gonna be good. Okay, you know, if you fail at first, you have to try again. Somebody's calling me, oh nothing, I'm just juicing. Um, you know, I'm a juicer now, so. All right, y'all, immunity shots are all packaged up. They look really good. I'm gonna bring some to my friends. And then this is our new juice. We've got, what is it? Green apple, celery, pineapple, lime, cucumbers. Let's give this one a go. It's a little pulpier, so I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, this is it. Sweet, a little sour with the lime. But I'm like, if I'm drinking this, it's like, oh. She got her life together. 
Hey girl, the camera died. <laughs> Moral of the story is I'm a juicy girl and it just, it is what it is. I'm proud of myself I didn't give up because y'all, when I say I was on the brink, y'all wasn't about to get no juice, like no juice at all. But I'm just going to do my hair, moisturize my hair before bed so we can kind of wrap up this vlog because it is Friday and we gotta get this out to y'all by Tuesday. Something exciting that's in the works is our anniversary trip so we finally decided on a location we're gonna be going to Mexico. Mexico girl I am so excited I've never been out the country so it's giving new endeavors <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the resort and everything that we're staying at but we're doing a little five-star all-inclusive resort it is giving luxury it is giving just like relaxation it is giving a dream like literally a dream this is stuff i would have dreamed of as a child so the fact that we're about to do this whole vacation like it's just super exciting and i'm extremely extremely grateful our anniversary is may 7th we're gonna go from may 3rd to may 7th or may 2nd to may 7th uh, i have anxiety when it comes to traveling especially like out the country because it's just like i don't know where i am like I just, I don't know. So having like a little all-inclusive stay on the resort type of vibe, relax, refresh, reset. Like I don't have to be fighting for my life on all these excursions. We still are gonna do some excursions, but just like, you know, also relaxing throughout. So that's coming in May, but we also are gonna be doing quite a bit of traveling to New York and Ohio in the meantime. Um, next vlog, we're gonna be headed to Savannah, Georgia, um, just to link up with some family. So you guys will see us there. Then beginning of March, well mid-March, we're going to New York. End of March, we're going back to Columbus. April, we're going back to Columbus. And then May, we're gonna be going to Mexico. So it's just giving like, okay, like y'all are out here very much in the mix. Like, I love it. I absolutely love that for us. So that's kind of what you guys can expect moving forward. Y'all know, the Mayel. This is how much I have left. Let me see if there's a label. I think I have this much left. If y'all remember from a vlog a few weeks ago, we went and picked this up from Walmart. So I've definitely been using it. I have a little bit of grow out, but like not anything crazy. I've had these in for about two weeks now. So I wouldn't expect nothing crazy, but the way y'all was hyping this up, it was like, my braids is about to grow out in two days. It is crazy that our two year wedding anniversary is in what two months like how have we been married for two years already and we was dating for about a year so we've been together for three years that's wild and we got two kids i was telling javon like some people literally they're like okay let's get married you know then they have like six years to themselves living it up and they're like okay let's settle down have a kid might have another kid in about five years and it's like okay 15 years of marriage and they got two kids it's like baby we've been together for two years and we got two kids. I'm like, something has to give because Lord, I am not your strongest soldier. Please don't be having me with a tribe. Please don't be having me with a baseball team, football team in the back. Like now we driving around with a whole, um, <laughs> you ever see them like vans that people with like nine kids be having to go in? Lord, I know you are funny. I know you have a sense of humor, but please hear this prayer. I cannot handle a football team. Please. I am gonna add a little bit of my gel into it just so that these little curly pieces are super nourished but yeah girl it's been quite the week i feel like we've had lots of kikis lots of kikis eva actually came over to try some of the juice she loved the immunity shots because you know they're immunity shots like, and uh, she also loved like the pineapple juice one that i made anyways it's been quite a long week girl i'm not gonna be vlogging next week like monday through friday but i'll start or monday through thursday but i'm gonna start the vlog on friday when we head to savannah just so we can have a little change of scenery but i did start my little faith talk series so you guys are gonna see that being posted a little bit more frequently and i'm just trying to change up the content so if you guys have any like content ideas that you really want me to film let me know because i'm just trying to expand my palette like i love the vlogs but it's only so many vlogs you can do this is how i tie up my hair if anybody cares, this is like how you get them braids to last. Then you take a scarf, fold it in a triangle, wrap it around. And that's how you do it. And then you become an auntie. So 
I love y'all. Thank you for catching up with me on this vlog. We will for sure kiki next week. And yeah, girl, pick up the phone when I call. Bye.